Hi there, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today I have a question from Mark, so I'll read you what he said. My girlfriend and I have been together for two years. I proposed to her two weeks ago. She said she loves me very much, but she isn't ready to get married right now. We're both 28 years old, and I want to know, am I wasting my time staying with her? Shouldn't she know by now if I'm the one she wants to commit to? We get along really well, so I'm a little shocked by her answer. I don't want to give her an ultimatum, but I'm not sure how to handle things moving forward. What do you think? Thanks so much, Mark. Well, <clears throat> Mark, thanks for writing. I like this question because it happens a lot more than people think. You think you know your partner. You're watching how you are together and you say, oh, this is the perfect time. It's two years. And you know what? A lot of women are ready at the two-year mark and a lot of them expect a proposal at the two-year mark. So you're not off base by doing this. I'm just a little concerned that maybe you misread the situation in your partnership. Maybe there hasn't been any talk about it in the past. Sometimes if you don't talk about obvious things that are usually progress within a relationship, you end up in a situation that you really don't know your partner because you're not communicating with each other what you want for your future. Now, you didn't tell me any of that, so I'm just guessing maybe that wasn't said. Maybe you never had the conversation about commitment and marriage. The thing that I'm grasping onto here, though, is she says she loves you very much and she's not ready right now. I love the fact that you said you don't want to give her an ultimatum because those never seem to work that well. You shouldn't have to be in a relationship where you give somebody that sort of test, that ultimatum. What I would do with her is I would sit her down. I know it's been two weeks, so you're probably still a little hurt, a little maybe angry and feeling the rejection. I would sit her down and just say, I want you to be really honest with me. Are you saying right now or are you saying ever you're not interested in getting married? Because you've got a ring sitting there that you just bought her. And if you're able to take it back, which I hope you are, I would suggest you do so because you don't want to sit on an expensive item, a piece of jewelry like that, when she's already said no. So I would first of all take it back, but and if you can't sell it or do something with it, but don't hold on to it because that's a lot of money to just sit there after she said no to you. But sit her down and just say, I want you to be really, really, truly honest with me because I, I love you enough to propose to you, but do I stick around here now? Or should I just move on because you are not interested in ever getting married? It could just be that she's not feeling secure in her life where she's at right now. She doesn't feel like things are balanced enough for her with what's going on in her life. But at least if you have an idea of where she's at and maybe what time frame she is looking at, then you have your, your decisions about whether you stick around with her or you move forward with somebody else. I know that's not the answer you probably want to hear, but it's you have to think about your energy and time you're putting in as well. It's not just about what she wants. You love her enough to propose to her, so you do want a future with her. So maybe put a, mind, uh, a set time frame in your mind about how long you're willing to sort of wait around to see if things change. You could always walk away and if she were to come back in the next six months or something like that and you're still available, you could revisit it. But I don't think that you should be sitting around waiting for her to make a decision if she's not open to discussing why she's not interested in getting married right now. It could be something just as simple as she's got some things she wants to get done before she gets married. The nice thing is you're both only 28 years old. You still have time to for yourself to meet somebody else and have a family with them. She might just have a couple of things she needs to do. I don't know what she's thinking right now, but that is something that you have to discover for yourself whether it is just she's letting you down gently by saying right now or does she really want to get married down the road it's really difficult when someone says no it's hard to come back from because that's the thing you will always remember you'll always feel like well does it really matter like 
couldn't we say yes, she say yes to me, and then we get married in two years from now? That's another thing you want to ask her. Like, why didn't she suggest something like that if she is interested in getting married? When you do sit down and have this talk with her, really watch her actions. Watch her body language. Watch if she makes eye contact with you. Is she, is she afraid to give you the, the answers that you don't want to hear? This is something that, you know, you want to know and you want to really understand, is she just being polite or does she really have a time frame in mind that she would like to get married? A lot of people are getting married later in their 30s, you know, mid, mid 30s. So that could be part of it as well. She just doesn't feel like she's that stable of enough, stable enough in what's going on in her life right now. But that's something you need to find out. So ask the tough questions. Watch how she answers you. I want you also to think back to when you guys first started dating. Did she ever tell you that marriage wasn't important to her? That it wasn't something she ever wanted to do? Because sometimes we don't hear our partners enough. We think, oh, they'll change their mind in a couple of years, so I'm not going to worry about it. If she's ever said that to you, that could be the reason she also said no, because she means it. She's not interested in getting married. She might just be happy living a common law type of relationship with you. But the fact that she said no to you means that you guys, it sounds like you guys haven't really discussed it to me. Because otherwise, I don't think you'd be sitting here sort of feeling blindsided by what happened. So that's where you need to go. You need to find out what it is she really wants in the future. She may have some past issues, maybe from where she came, grew up, her family, maybe her parents didn't stay together. There could be all sorts of things like that in her head, but it's still not fair for you to have to try and figure that out. She needs to be open and honest with you, communicate why she said no, so that you can make your decision understanding that there's no pretense when you, if you are going to move forward with her, that she is ready, going to be ready for marriage and kids and all that stuff. If she's not, then I would strongly suggest to you that you move on because that's what you're looking for. You don't want to settle and be with somebody that only can give you a part of what you're looking for. So thanks so much for tuning in today, everybody. Mark, thank you for writing. I wish you lots of love and happiness and I hope everything works out for you. Please leave any comments or questions you have below the video here and please click like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.